Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. I live in Mount Village, Colorado. If you want to find out anything about me, go to MySpace where I have a page. This here is a political analysis, you might say, about MSNBC. Why it sucks so bad. You know, MSNBC used to be, years ago, a network that was kind of liberal, moderate, and conservative. Now it's all left-wing extremist, you know, um, Rachel Maddox, you know, is a about socialist. But then again, so was Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, who was a socialist. So was Pol Pot of Cambodia, who was a socialist, and murdered 1.5 to 3 million Cambodians because he he didn't believe that educated people in Cambodia could be con, uh, transformed into socialists. So he wanted to kill off the educated, and which he did, so he could create a perfect socialistic society. Um, socialism and death, Marxism and death, go hand in hand, apparently. And the left wing and death and murder and torture and rape all seem to go hand in hand. Even though, of course, not all socialists are like that. Most are not, um, especially here in America. But they do have a tendency to look the other way when socialists and left wingers commit genocide. That's a very unusual thing uh, for people who claim to be very compassionate. Nonetheless, MSNBC sucks because they don't provide any news. All they do nowadays, pretty much, is bash anybody they don't like. They try to make uh, Sarah Palin uh, look like a jackass with a little thing on her head and stuff like that. And they demean people, anyone that doesn't support the Louis Farrakhan's anointed one, and that is President Obama. I mean, if I, if I were president and I was called the anointed one by David Duke, the Ku Klux Klan member from Louisiana, I would rebuff that in a minute and tell him where he could go. But, but Obama hasn't rebuffed that from Louis Farrakhan and denied uh, and told him that I am not the anointed one and I don't want your support. I don't want a support from a racist, a Jew hater and a person who hates white people and wants a separate homeland for the black people of America. Obviously, he believes in segregation, much like Margaret Sanger of the founder of Planned Parenthood believes in segregation. Got to go to Black Genocide and read, read, the, read that and read the letter that uh, Margaret Sanger wrote uh, to one of the uh, Gamble, Procter & Gamble hairs. Anyhow, MSNBC is not a, a news network. These are political activists, pundits, uh, Obama's boys and girls, who are there to support his agenda. Why is MSNBC taking this uh, radical approach to the news in which none of these people are journalists, they're just, political, like I said, they're just political activists, impersonating the role of a journalist or a newscaster. It's simply because MSNBC um, uh, owners, or that would be General Electric, are out to make a billions of dollars, and Obama can make it a reality for them through the uh, cap and trade uh, legislation, through health care. You know, if cap and trade were to pass and we start making all more windmills and stuff, even though a lot of them are made in China, MSNBC is going to be right there to make that make some money. They're going to make billions off of it. They're already making money. You know, that's why the owner of, or the chairman of uh, GE is seen sitting with Obama at a lot of his cabinet meetings. You know, you don't see poor people sitting there. You only see the rich corporate leaders there. But MSNBC founders, GE, is going to make a lot of money. So this cap and trade is very important to them. This Marxist health care plan, I don't call it social, I call it Marxist health care plan also uh, would make them a lot of money because they make a lot of medical equipment. So they're in it for the money. It's all the same thing. What Jesus said, the root of all evil is money. And it's, nothing has changed. The left scream and yell at corporate America uh, being greedy. Well, what, what do you think GE is? It's greed. They're trying to make money, and Obama is their ticket. So they've got to defend him against all of his enemies. And the best way to do that is through MSNBC or NBC. It's kind of like Tom Brokaw. Tom Brokaw, you know, all, he continuously tries to pass himself off as a journalist. He's not a journalist. I remember this guy from back in the late 70s when he filled in for uh, other, uh, I can't remember his name, but John Chancellor, I think it was. And uh, this guy was just had a very anti-American uh, uh, mentality. He lied about a lot of things, you know, like one time he claimed that there were all these homeless people down in Denver, but they didn't show any, bring any cameras or make any reports. And I'm down there working for Channel 4 at the time doing um, security, and this was, I think, in 84 or something like that. And... Um, I was there, down there. There were all these that they claim were on the streets right at that time were not there. They didn't exist. But that's what kind of person he is. And his support for Obama is, of course, he has to support GE, you know, because GE wants him wants their people to support Obama because that's how they're going to make their money, their billions, uh, if he's successful. Uh, but it's also Tom Brokaw 
decided that he wanted to get back at all the white rednecks of America who don't like black people. So he made it clear that was his reason for supporting President Obama. And he said this is a way to get back at all those rednecks, racist rednecks. Well, see, as a journalist, his job is to vet these presidential candidates. He didn't do that because in, on the Charlie Rose show on uh, PBS, he made it quite clear that Charlie Rose did too, that they don't really know much about this guy. This was just after the election. Instead of doing his job, he let his personal feelings get in the way, and he wanted to get back at all primarily Southerners because, you know, people like him think that all white people in the South are, are racist. Uh, but he comes from South Dakota, so what would he know? Even though I love the people of South Dakota and South Dakota itself, wouldn't mind living there sometimes. But he doesn't know anything about Southern people in any way. But he let his personal feelings get in the way. And that's not the role of a journalist. He's never been a journalist, and he'll never be a journalist. He's a political hack, political activist. You know, a lot of the media, including the conservative ones, just don't report the news anymore. They're there to influence it, to change it, to intimidate, to mock, to ridicule, to demean anybody that they can't or that they don't like. So we, we don't have as much freedom as we think we do, because we got these people trying to tell us what is good and what is evil. But what they call good is really evil, what they call evil is really good at times. They don't know the difference anymore, and they, and because they're out of touch with reality. We, the people of America, need to create our own television network that's run by the American people, you know, uh, in which we can have a 24-hour cable network, which the American people to the right, middle class, or moderates and liberals and conservatives can have a participate in, instead of depending on a, on a group of self-proclaimed uh, journalists who are not journalists. They're just political hacks, political activists demeaning anybody that they can. We don't have any real journalism left in America. It's almost all gone now. And MSNBC is not a network of journalists. It's a network of political hacks, political people who are just going to destroy anybody that gets in their way. They don't gig any news anymore. They just they just mock people, ridicule people. That's what Chris Matthew does. Chris Matthew used to work for Jimmy Carter. Chris Matthew is probably a socialist himself. He he was part of a failed administration. Jimmy Carter was a good man. He was an intelligent man, but he was not presidential. He had no business running for president. Neither did should McCain nor Obama run for president because both have demonstrated they're not qualified. I supported McCain, but that's because I don't have the I didn't have an alternative. I actually like uh, uh, Governor Huckabee. But nonetheless, MSNBC is not a network, and I hope uh, that will live long enough that they will change their format and they will actually become a true television uh, news network that is informative and it matters. There just isn't anymore. It's as simple as that. That's why so many people here in Telluride and other places have a hatred uh, for Fox News, because they don't like the fact that the old days of the 70s and 80s and even the 90s where MSNBC, CBS, and ABC had pretty much dominated the news. They could control everything. Uh, and there was no competition. There was no one to rebuke, rebuff what they say. They only let on people that they wanted to let on to rebuff uh, things, but basically they went unchallenged and they could say anything they wanted and there was no one there to, to challenge them. Uh, and they missed those days. That's why the Fox News Network gets hated so much because now they give a different side and these liberals activists cannot stand this. It, it drives them insane. Uh, they don't believe in democracy. They don't believe in uh, uh, freedom of thought, freedom of the press. Here in Telluride, the newspapers, Kodo radio station, and this so-called TV station up here in Mountain Village, you know, they don't give other side to anything. They just they just have one side, their side, and that's the only truth that there is, their truth. That's it. They don't believe in democracy. They don't believe in freedom of speech. They don't believe in freedom of the press. They believe in just trying to brainwash people. Anyway, I hope one day MSNBC will get it, will be under new owners, new people that will give it what it needs, and that is, um, how can I put it, a little balance. But these are not journalists. Chris Matthews is not a journalist. Rachel Maddox is not a journalist. She's a socialist. She has aligned herself with people who have murdered millions of pe other people in the name of socialism. That doesn't mean she is, of course, but, she ha but that's the side that she's on. You know, the left wing since the 1917 Bolshevik Revolution have murdered several hundred million people in this country. I don't know of any right wingers who have committed that kind of genocide. Those who say, well, Hitler is, well, I got some news for you. Hitler was a socialist, too. Read your history. Thank you for your time.